what is the purpose of marriage in Islam? Why Islam emphasize on the importance of getting married? Why? So when I talk of the purpose and the philosophy of marriage, I'm talking of those things that Islam expects us to achieve within our marriages. We do not achieve those things. It means our marriage has not reached that level of marriage which Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala expects us to reach. You know, whenever marriage is conducted within our communities, and especially those who get married, they often become so excited, so happy, when the tradition of fulfilling half of a religion is quoted. But there is a point here we need to understand. When the Holy Prophet is being quoted to upset that whoever is married, half of his religion is fulfilled. It means potentially. It doesn't mean that the moment you are married is fulfilled. It means those challenges that are there to make it difficult for you to be religious. Once you are married, half of them are curtailed. That is why if you look at the tradition, Prophet continued to say, فَلِيَتَّكِلَّهَا فِي نِسْفِ الْآخَرِ أَوْ فِي نِسْفِ الْبَعْرِ Then the one who is getting married should be conscious of the teachings of Allah in the last half. So therefore when we are told half of our religion is fulfilled, it's not in action meaning potentially. If you get into marriage and you don't follow you don't follow Allah's order, the half will not be there. Because sometimes you see people before marriage, they are religious. After marriage, they go different way. You want to tell me still half of religion is good. You find people, they are conscious of their salat. After marriage, they forget. Half of religion is good. So it's important we understand this rewire and we should not get excited too much yes marriage is something positive marriage is something that can take you to allah easily if you know how to go about it so therefore kindly pay attention let's unpack this topic so that we are able to understand the best practices that we need to put in our marriages whether you are married for 100 years or not it's a lesson that all of us need to learn if you look at the camp of Abba abdullah there were husbands and wives there who went there and stood alongside Abba Abdullah. So therefore, if there is one lesson that we can learn from Karbala and from the movement of Abba Abdullah is the lesson of marriage. What are the things that you want to achieve in your marriage? You know, there has been a survey which was conducted some years ago by Muslim scholars on what is the criteria to measure the success of a marriage. If you are able to satisfy one another, then you are successful in your marriage. And Islam said, no, that's not a yardstick of success. Meaning if your desire is satisfied, according to some, that's the yardstick Islam said. Then they came to the second one. They said the second one is what? They said there are two things if they are met in a marriage, that marriage is successful. That one, you trust the person and you are pleased when you are with the person. Now, sometimes you may trust, but you are not happy when you are with the person. Sometimes you are happy, but you are not trusting the person. So they said, they said the second yardstick to measure is that you are happy and at the same time you trust the person. Islam said that is okay, but that's not the yardstick. What's the yardstick to measure the success of marriage? Within the religion of Islam, the yardstick to measure the success of every marriage within the religion of Islam is for your marriage to become a model for others to inspire to get married for the sake of Allah. It's to build civilization that will love Allah and worship Allah. Hence, let us look at what Quran mentioned as philosophies of marriage. Number one, the ayah I quoted, Quran 30, 
verse 21. Allah is saying, the first major philosophy of marriage is peace of mind. Sukun. Allah, you are married, I'm married. Are you in peace? Or you are not in peace? I always mention this when I give marriage lectures. Allah, there are people, men, when they knock off from work, they don't go home. Allah, you ask them why? They say, no, I want by the time I go, she's fast asleep. Because I don't want trouble. And the same thing you visit the lady said, Haji is not bad. He said, well, I pray by the time he comes back, I'll sleep. You see, there are people, they are in marriage, they are just forcing it. They are not happy. They said, no, no, for the sake of children, let's hang on. No, no, for the sake of our name in the community, let's hang on. Islam says, the first philosophy of marriage is sukun. Hence, Allah said, let us kunu ilayha. So that you dwell in them. You obtain tranquility through them. One other way to obtain tranquility is what? It's salah. It's zikr of Allah. So Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala is telling us in Quran. Through your marriage you can obtain peace. So if I'm married and there is no peace in my marriage. Then there is something wrong in your marriage. Believe in me or not. Number two philosophy of a marriage in Islam. Is for your marriage. To lead you to Allah. It's for your wife. To become a means of proximity to Allah. And your husband. Become means of proximity to Allah. Wallah you check our community. The more people get married. The more they stay away from the center. You tell him why. I'm busy now. I'm married. Quran is telling us. Wamina ayatihi. Among the signs of knowing Allah. It's marriage. And as they said in theology, there are two ways of knowing Allah. Either within yourself or outside. Marriage is knowing Allah within oneself. If my salat is weak, the moment I get married, Islam expects me to take it to the next level. If my Quran recitation is weak, the moment I get married, Islam expects me to take it to the next level. This is the second philosophy of marriage Islam, brothers and sisters. When we are told the marriage is ibadah, it's because of these things. It's not that after getting married, you sit in there, the maulana sit in there, and before he contract, he said, Ala kitabillah wa sunnah He said, I'm conducting this marriage based on the book of Allah and the tradition of Prophet. What does it mean? It means after this marriage, I must be religious. Three, philosophy of marriage. Is for your marriage to produce pious children and productive children. Waladu Saleh. A child who respect everyone. A child who recite Quran. A child who recite Marthia. A child who recite Noha. A child who love and serve the cause of Ahlul Bayh. Waladu Saleh is one of the philosophy of marriage. Hence, Fatima al-Zahra and Amir al-Mu'mineen gave us Hassan and Hussein. 